a new version of the Autogen Studio. Now, this isn't a, a game changer, obviously, but it's a very cool UI, which is way better than the first version, in my opinion. Um, less limitations, more freedom of creating, and it actually can improve our workflow if you don't want to use code. Um, the goal of this video is just to share with you this new tool and how to install it and just a short example. I didn't upload a video in the last two weeks because we were traveling. We went to visit family in Israel and then I, I was uh, sick uh, and now I'm back in the business and I feel that uh, I have a lot to catch up, uh, a lot of new and exciting things, especially uh, with regards to Crew AI, Autogen and Open Interpreter, which are the tools that I um, believe in and I, I believe are the most helpful and have the most potential at the moment. Anyway, let's get started with this uh, short video about Autogen Studio. Um, with regards to the installation, so if you guys have been following this channel, I often say I'm not about the installation, I'm more about the implementation. So just a quick overview of how to install this, you conduct create, I will share this in the in the description obviously. So conduct create new environment, activate the environment, then you send the API keys. If you have a Mac, it's going to be export OpenAI API keys. If you have a Windows, so use set, then pip install Autogen Studio, and then you run this command and it is going to open this interface in your Chrome or whatever browser that you are using. So basically we have here um, the following functions or views. First of all, it's, uh, the first section is the skill section. And skills are basically Python function, functions that agents uh, can use in order to solve tasks. So there are examples of find papers, uh, fetch profile, generate images. These are all uh, Python codes that you can give to different agents as skills that enhance their um, abilities. And obviously you can create your own skill. This is a sample skill that they are providing. And they also are sharing here like a description of how you can write down this skill. So. They are saying this is a sample skill, replace with your own skill function. In general, a good skill must have the following sections. The import of the library is needed, the function definition and doc strings, and the function body, and obviously the result at the bottom. Um, what you can do is you can just take this description and paste it in ChatGPT, and then you tell ChatGPT to follow this pattern and create any functions or any skills that you would like. And I did this and I will show it to you later. Next, you can add different models. Uh, you can obviously, I haven't tested, but I'm assuming that you can also add LM Studio or other free uh, open LLMs. I haven't tested it. I prefer, I prefer praying. So I'm using uh, OpenAI at the moment. But it's pretty straightforward. You add your API key, your base URL, and you name the model. Then you have the agents creation. Um, and I already created a few agents. So we have the copywriter agent. As you know, let's, uh, if you haven't seen my uh, previous videos, I've tested a use cases, uh, different use cases in which we write cold emails targeting the retro consumer uh, CMOs trying to persuade them to hop on a quick call and show them my um, solution, which is actually a solution that helps in generating high quality videos at scale. So basically in the previous videos and also in this specific instance, I created three different agents. The first one is the copywriter. So you give the agent a name, then you provide a description, then you uh, decide on, on the amount of replies and human, in, human input is going to be never. And then you write the system message and you write which models you would like uh, this specific agent to use. And if you have any skills that you would like to the agent to have. 
And this goes back to what we discussed before, the skill section. Now, let me just clarify one thing regarding the difference between an agent description and a system message. A system message is the prompt that you give to the agent. You basically tell him what are you expecting from him and what are his abilities. While the agent description is a shorter version of the system message, but the agent description is the, the string, the sentence that allows the, the, the group manager to understand what are the skills of each agent. And based on the agent description, the group manager is moving the conversation to different agents. So let me clarify. The system message is the data, the prompt that you are providing to the agent. And the agent description is the prompt or description that is passed to the group manager, um, which he, he manages the brainstorming or the discussion. And based on the agent description, he knows how to, uh, how to route the discussion. So let's say you can write here something a bit longer about the copywriter and his skills and what are you expecting. And then you just write a short description. The copywriter is a, is a skilled, um, this agent is a skilled copywriter that has abilities to write high converting content. But in the system message, you write more. Um, and I'll show you an example. I didn't plan to show it at the moment, but let's do this anyway. So basically, I, I wanted help with writing a system message for the copywriter agent. Uh, and then I noticed that OpenAI introduced a new feature, which is mentioning. And what is mentioning? Basically, when you use the ad, you can fetch a specific GPT that you have at your disposal. So I have different GPTs that I've built. So prospecting coach, GitHub guru, the power automate desktop coach, the pop wizard and the autogen builder. The autogen builder, I think it's a, the GPT that I actually took from someone else and I didn't build. So basically, instead of having this conversation, this conversation with chat GPT, I mentioned the autogen builder and I asked it to write the system message. So since the Autogen Builder is probably equipped with a knowledge base about auto, the, Autogen product, the Autogen project um, and his prompts are more specific. So the response that he gave me is better than just a generic, than the generic response that I would have gotten from ChatGPT, which doesn't even know how the Autogen uh, project is built. So this uh, tool of mentioning a specific GPT is very cool and it's pretty new. I also have the Quay AI assistant, which is provided by the Quay AI team. Anyway, so this is the, the system message that the Autogen builder wrote to me. So skilled in crafting. And this is actually the system message and the agent description is a skilled copywriter. Again, Agent description is for the group manager and system message is for the specific agent. So we created the copywriter, we created the director consumer CMO, expected director consumer marketing strategies, etc. Then give him any skills. Then we created another agent, which is a technical cold email expert. And bear in mind that all of these system messages um, were created by the Autogen builder. I basically asked it to create um, this system message and since I liked what it what it wrote I didn't refine or adjust in the prompt or the system message I just copied and pasted it now assuming that we created all the agents that we want by the way this is the interface for building a new agent we go to the workflow and in the workflow we basically we can either create a new workflow of two agents or a group chat in my case I created this workflow which is Called, called email generation. The workflow description is a group chat writing called emails. The summary uh, method, so you can either get as output what was written last or a, a summary which is written by the LLM. And then you have the sender, which is the user proxy and the receiver, which is basically 
the group chat agents. And over here, you can add different, the agents that you've created, you can add to the group chat, um, to this uh, group chat agent, basically, to this flow. Then you decide what is the speaker selection method. So it can be auto or round robin or random. I usually use auto, but I want to test what happens with random. Then you give a name for the group chat assistant, which is basically the guy who facil facilitates this workflow or this brainstorming. You provide a description, and then you give a system message for the group uh, chat manager. In this case, I wrote to him, you are a helpful assistant skilled at coordinating a group of other assistants to solve a task of writing a short cold email. Make sure the email is short and make sure the director consumer CMO is providing honest feedback. Then I gave it the model, which I didn't change, and I didn't add any skills. Once we have, we created the agent. Okay, so let's just recap. We didn't create, we created this skill, but I didn't use it. This is a bit more complex. So this is the first step. Then you define which models you would like to use. Then you create the agents, and then you create a workflow, which consists of the agents that you would like to use in the specific workflow or group chat. The next thing would be going to the playground and creating a new session. Once you create a new session, you are required to provide which workflow you would like to use. In this case, I chose the code email generation. And this was my first result. So this was my prompt. Help me write a draft of cold email targeting direct-to-consumer brands that are spending more than 30K on Facebook or TikTok ads. The email should be, should be short. We should emphasize the fact that we take all the risk and give a money-back guarantee. Our solution is a video editing tool that uses code to generate many variations of high-quality videos based on historical data of your top-performing ads. The solution is faster, more affordable, and more scalable than any agency or in-house editing and creative team. Uh, so this is actually like my solution and actually a problem that I would like to like use in real life because I'm sending cold emails at scale and I constantly would like to refresh my creative, my copy in order to get higher conversion and better response rate. And now basically, the agents started a conversation, they started answering. And as you can see, um, this was what the cold email expert wrote. Boost your ad performance history with a revolutionary video editing solution. This email is way too long for cold email, but it is, on the other hand, it's pretty comprehensive. Then the direct -to consumer also wrote a, a proposal or a draft and it did include all the points, but it's way too long again. Then the copywriter wrote, and then the direct consumer wrote to the copywriter, and they just went back and forth, and actually the result was still very too long. Um, I didn't like what I saw because I didn't feel, in opposing to when I used Autogen in the past, I didn't feel that there was a conversation between the agents. Uh, I probably didn't define something correctly in the workflow, but basically I just felt that each agent was responding to my initial prompt without taking into account what uh, the previous agents wrote. So this is why I decided to do another iteration. And in this iteration, I gave the group chat manager more detailed um, instructions regarding the fact that I wanted him to facilitate the conversation and make sure that the direct to consumer CMO is actually providing feedback on the copy that is re being written by the other agents, which is the copywriter and the technical uh, code email specialist. But again, also this time it wasn't good and I didn't feel that there was a conversation, it was just a bunch of emails being generated with no interaction between the agents. I'm planning to, to solve this, um, dive deeper into the code and see exactly what do I need to change in order to have this um, 
work better because I know it can work better because I've used Autogen in the past without using the UI and the conversation was way better and actually the results were better. By the way, I can, if you would like, in the previous videos that I created, I actually shared different outputs that were created by Crew AI. Uh, in the first iteration, I was running Crew AI with only one crew. Then I created a, a similar prompt and a similar request with uh, Crew AI, but with three different crews. And then I used Autogen um, and the Autogen Builder with the same request. And I basically compared different outputs. I'm not sure I'm going to even add this into this uh, output file because it's uh, the results are not are not there. It's not good enough. But um, I really like where this is going. The fact that um, Autogen team is moving so fast, and I'm going to record a few more videos in the upcoming days about new features that they introduced. But the team is moving very fast, and the UI looks way better and less clunky than the first uh, version. So this is very exciting. Let me see if I wanted to cover anything else. No, quick overview, examples. Um, what did I do here? So here I actually used the Autogen Builder in order to create a skill. So basically I took the skill that was provided, not the sample skill, but actually the skill of of the searching the archive, I'll show you the skill. So they have this sample skill, but I didn't copy this. I took this skill and I pasted it into here and I told um, ChatGPT, the GPT, the specific GPT to reverse engineer the structure and it gave me the structure. So the sample skill demonstrates a structured approach to creating a Python function for a specific task. It wrote down all this, uh, like what is being, like the different components of this skill. And then I asked it to create a similar function with the same structure for writing a cold email. And basically it produced um, this skill, which I didn't test, but I believe it is better than the skill that I asked it to write prior to providing the example. So this is something that I often do. I often take, let's say I want to copy someone and that is writing great content on LinkedIn. I can copy and paste his top performing post. I just scrape his top performing post. I saw them by the amount of likes, for example, and I provide the top four, or top five performing posts. And I ask ChatGPT to reverse engineer the structure um, and based on the reverse engineering, and they, I then asked ChatGPT to write new posts promoting my offer, but using the similar structure. So I really love using um, ChatGPT for reverse engineering, whether it's code or whether it's content. Just a cool trick that uh, you guys can implement and test out. I guess that's it for today. I wanted to keep this short, just introducing um, Autogen Studio and uh, its abilities. I will keep you posted regarding um, my findings about how we can utilize this better. And in the upcoming days, I'm going to uh, upload new more new videos about Crew AI and Autogen and Open uh, Interpreter because there were a few things happening which I find interesting and I think you guys will find interesting as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please um, like and obviously subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, or even if you did enjoy, please leave also a feedback below in the comment section. I look at all the feedbacks that you guys are providing and I'm trying to improve um, these videos based on your uh, feedback. So your feedback means a lot to me. So please feel free um, to write whatever you would like. Um, I guess that's it for today. I almost forgot the slogan because I didn't upload the video for two weeks, but it came back to me. So until next time, keep on automating.